Today, we're gonna show you how to reupholster a bench cushion. Welcome back to See How It Work Bench. This bench is located in a high traffic area in my home, which means the fabric on the cushion has definitely seen better days. And honestly, I really don't like the color of the fabric. So let's replace it. And this video will give you a pretty good idea on how to replace yours. Are you subscribed to our channel? YouTube tells us that 90% of you aren't. You should really subscribe to our channel. Go do that right now. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start our project. The tools we need for this project are the Sailrite cordless rotary cutter, scissors, measuring tape, Sailrite clear acrylic ruler, the Sailrite staple gun, chalk pencil cartridge set, staple remover, Sailrite rotary punch, clips, and for this project, we will sew with the Ultrafeed LS. First, we need to choose an upholstery fabric. I personally love using Krypton fabrics because they are durable and stain resistant. I have a dog at home, which is why I need to use a performance fabric. I chose Krypton Nomad Snow because it will complement the base of the bench and it's a good neutral fabric. Before measuring, we need to remove the cushion from the base. Mine is screwed on, so I'll quickly unscrew it. Next, we need to figure out the dimensions of our cushion. We'll start by measuring the length, width, and thickness of our cushion. On the Sailrite Fabric Calculator, select cushion, then select the type of cushion you need. For this bench, we will use the quick and easy box cushion. Then plug in your measurements. Ours were 28 and a half inches long, 11 and a half inches wide, two inches thick, and because ours has a backer board, we will select platform instead of fabric bottom. The fabric calculator will show you the best pattern for your project. Now we will measure a 38 and a half by 21 and a half inch rectangle onto our fabric with the chalk pencil cartridge set and the clear acrylic ruler. Then we need to measure a four and three quarters inch square into each corner of the rectangle. The fabric calculator provided this measurement. To cut out the rectangle and squares, I'm going to use the Sailrite cordless rotary cutter to make cutting out a larger shape more convenient. Using clips, we'll clip the corners together. The right side of the fabric should face each other when clipped together. Before heading to the sewing machine, we'll mark the corner of the fabric on each side. Because our cushion is slightly rounded, sewing the corner will form the fabric to the cushion. There is no exact measurement to this as the goal is to get rid of the extra fabric that creates a dog ear. Now at the sewing machine, we'll sew a straight line to hold our edges together. We'll backstitch to lock our seams into place. So where we marked our corner to get rid of the extra fabric. We'll repeat the step on the other three corners. This cushion uses Velcro tape to hold the fabric onto the bench, so we will remove the fabric by separating the Velcro. Using a staple remover, I will remove the first few staples, then pull the Velcro off of the backer board. Then we will carefully pry the staples up, holding onto the cushion. We want to reuse the bottom fabric, so it is important to keep it in good condition. In the event that it does get damaged, we have linked the fabric underlining in the description below. Now we'll slip the new sewn fabric onto the cushion, making sure it fits correctly and the corners are aligned. As you can see, we need to keep the holes where the screws go easily accessible. So we will use a few temporary staples on either side to hold the fabric taut. We'll take a marking tool and mark where the hole is. 
using a rotary hole punch, we'll stamp a hole into the fabric. Then we'll repeat this step on the other three areas. Now we'll finish stapling the fabric onto the back of board. Paying careful attention to the corners, we will pull the fabric taut and staple on top of the seam, then fold the corners in and staple them into place. Repeat this step to all three corners. Once that is done, we'll take the black fabric we removed previously and staple that back on. This will give the bottom of the bench a clean look. Once the cushion is finished, we can screw it back onto the base. Now I have a bench with fabric that I love that's easy to clean and is pet friendly. If you have an old bench or are looking for an easy thrift flip tutorial, this video is a great way to elevate something old and make it new. Follow us and tag us on social if you decide to redo a bench cushion yourself. All tools and materials are linked in the description below. If you want to see more DIYs, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell notification so you never miss out. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.